Hi folks, this is a quick movie just to demonstrate the benefit of having your defibrillator tested. Uh, this is a, a heart-on defibrillator and it's got a good battery and it appears to be in good shape. Everything's fine about it so far. It passes its self-tests so outwardly there's nothing wrong with it and um, all the indications would suggest that it's perfectly fine to work. Uh, as part of the testing what we do, we connect it to a analyzer which is this device here and on here I can simulate a uh, arrhythmia pattern which would require a shock. So I've got that set up on the, the test kit and I'm going to turn the defibrillator on and you'll see that it will run through its normal startup process and then it will analyze the the heart rhythm Unit okay. Adult pads. and it will check to Analyzing see whether Do not touch the, the shock patient. is required and it should say that a shock is required. Shock advised. Okay, so Charging. now it's going to say press the red the button. Patient. Just waiting for it to charge. Press the red flashing button now. Deliver shock now. Okay, so the red light is now flashing, it's ready to charge, discharge rather, and the energy discharge should will appear here when I press the red button. Okay. Shock delivered. It is safe to touch the patient. So you can see the problem. The Begin CPR. amount of joules delivered is zero. We don't see this very often, but it's a good indication of uh, one of the problems with the self-testing and your dependency on the unit self-test is that it's not foolproof. Uh, just to clarify, I've got another working device here. I did want to check. Two breaths. Let's just turn that off just so I can be clear from a technical point of view. Um, this device here, uh, I will just connect it in so you can see that the test equipment does work correctly. So same routine, set it onto a arrhythmia pattern that would require a shock. And this is a working device. I'll just turn this on. So Adult pads. This is the self-test routine. Unit OK. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. Shock advised. Don't touch patient. Press flashing shock button. Okay, so that's the same as before. It's recommending a shock. I need to press this button. If you watch Don't the display. Touch patient. Shock delivered. Start CPR. Shock delivered 126 joules. So clearly the instrument's working okay. The problem is this device is telling you it's okay. Clearly it's not.